Hello everyone, it is Kelter and I'm back to Tales from the North, where we follow the tale of the great Chief Kelter in his quest to rule Finland and all the Finnugric peoples in the whole of Eurasia. Now in preparation of our conquest of Savo, we will raid their villages to break their morale and make the conquest easier for us. And now we have an heir. But Pekko is not a name for a good heir of our mighty ruler. For a man, man who will one day rule all the lands we conquer. Only the name of Sampo is proper. As just like the mill of fortune, he will rule these lands and turn the dirt poor peasants into profitable subjects and use them in their military might to raid and bring glory. To the realm. <clears throat> well, who is Ahma? Oh yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Oh, is the man I, uh, whose lands I conquered? Yes, yes, yes. It is only proper that I also conquered his woman. Okay, well, I am quite certain now that we do not need to fear for a lack of air, for he, we have three of them. And this <laughs> mighty blessing demands that we go forth and conquer even more lands to divide between our sons. For our rule is based upon agnetic laws, which means only mere heirs can hold power in these lands. <coughs> it might sound barbaric and backwards, considering we already have female leaders. But that's the way the things have been done. And change does not come fast. In these lands where even feudalization is but a distant dream. Though, I think we might have a surplus of sons soon. That is only good for us, for our benefit. For a mighty house needs many branches to hold up the heavens. To rule all that lies beneath the sky. Oh no, the Swedes have decided to attack our lands. But fear not, we will be able to face them. 
if not in open combat, then by other means of treachery and deceit. For do not take fins for simple people. We have some more than others, though, as you can see from our uh, spy master who got himself captured <laughs> in Constantinople. Not everyone can be as good in the art of intrigue as our uh, uh, ruler, the master seducer in all the lands. <coughs> but for a ruler, seduction must come only second to military prowess. Therefore, we change our focus. Let's treat the Swedes with the guile. They might think of us as allies, but they will find themselves lacking compared to us. For only us, we will take the religion of the Swedes out of convenience. For that makes them think. They have rule over us. Although it is a great hit to our prestige, it will give us a great pretense to conquer the lands of our fellow pagan neighbors. While we finish off our quests in Finland, the rule of the Swedes will only be temporary. We will use them for our own benefit. Well, that was uh, unfortunate. Why did you have to get caught? I will never allow him to turn into a savage like you. Do you have money? No? Not enough money? Well, that's uh, unfortunate. For money, could have bought you freedom while the lack of it will doom you into imprisonment and eventual capitulation. But we will not let you go yet for your imprisonment will be a lesson for all future lands we will rule. <coughs> well, the Germanics do have a high moral authority. 
it might not be the worst fate to follow. But that will have to be decided on its merits. Hmm. What's going on in Europe? Oh, Carl seems to have died. <laughs> what? Uh, died of natural causes. Oh yeah, sure. That can only be reasonable. For who wouldn't die of uh, natural causes at the age of 20? With the future of conquest ahead. Well, we certainly didn't. Uh, no. Hmm. Against this. We will accept. Though, I, I do not know if we will actually help you. For uh, we have our own uh, plans to follow. For I am not someone to be ruled over. Yeah. Hmm. What should we do? Call for court fish at once. It's but a small flu, but. It's better to be safe than sorry. But I say we need to start raiding to gain back our prestige and to fill our coffers. For becoming a king requires money. As money runs the world even if we live in medieval ages though no, i i uh, maybe shouldn't have went and helped the swede swedes because uh, that that puts a dent in our plans to you know raid and pillage but I guess a nice little conquest war will ease the stress of ruling oh yes we will make a crown of focus what are these some kind of Swedish titles? Hmm. Yes. Well, we will uh, we will always be happy to have more commanders to help fight in the wars. How many sons do we have? Three sons. That is a respectable number. But I would say it's not enough. To secure our... Line. For you never know... If some of them die of disease. Unable to fulfill their potential. All the Swedes are doing quite well. I guess. What has happened to you? 
Sjelland? <laughs> what, what, what's going on in here? Why is everyone free? Aren't you supposed to be his vassals? Hmm. Very interesting. The Yonge Byzantines. Perm is doing quite well. Quite well, quite well, quite well. We are starting to run low on coin due to the Swedish stupidity in calling us to help them in a war. And our stupidity in actually answering the call. But hey, when you are young, you make mistakes. You never know. It could have been a very fast war. And we can still fight our own wars while the Swedes are getting crushed on their side of the pond. What did I just agree to? Wait. Well, I will enforce the demands. Oh yes, yes, no, yeah, yes, yes. I uh, <laughs> I got promoted. That 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 was it. Nothing special. Just a promotion to honor my skills in personal combat and yet another piece of Finland joins our role we have only killed three people so far we are a Merciful ruler. <coughs> hmm. Ilmenia is growing a bit too fast. How strong are they? Yes. They might become a threat to us. in the future maybe we should try to be preemptive in uh, in this regard someone is trying to kill some I don't like plots in my kingdom you never know what why are we sick? Now, of course, we won't be taking too many risks. Our son, his sons are still too young to rule. All of them four years old. All of them were born within a year. And what is this man doing? Well, yes. Now is a good time to attack the Swedes because they have uh, lands that belong to us. And they don't have too many troops. Although they, they have more troops than we do. 
Uh, this might have been a mistake. No, no, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, uh, I, I, I'll survive. No need to worry. No need to worry. Leading the center is what I'm good at. No, don't do that. That would be stupid. It is of utmost importance to know when you can take advantage of your enemies. Strike when they are weak and weaken them when they are strong. This could go uh, either way. This could be a good opportunistic win, or this could be bad. Because the Swedes seem to be growing in numbers. I wish to get this war into a swift conclusion. Hmm. They have uh, 2,400 men he hidden somewhere. That's uh, that's not good for us. What they have? How many are there? 1,700? Well, that's. <coughs> It's still manageable. Well, uh, yes. Hmm. A bit worrying, but manageable, I would say. And now we have taken uh, some of his kids as prisoners. He can pay. I'm. I'm very sure he can pay. Mm -hmm. Okay, he died. What is going <laughs> on? Died of cancer. Yes, the most common disease in the medieval era. I really do hope we win this battle. This is very important for us. If we win, they cannot oppose us. If we lose, well, we might lose the whole war if we lose this battle. What the have you done? How do you? Yes, we lost. This is a dark day for all of us. For indeed, the whole of Finland has suffered a crushing defeat today. And they have Way too many men. Way too many. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see.
<laughs> Weiner, what have you done? Oh no. Hmm. This is gonna hurt. This is going to definitely hurt. I doubt we are going to win this fight, but you're nev you never know, you never know. Uh. Yeah, we are, we are going to lose. Sometimes Taking the diplomatic route is not cowardly, but just practical. We tried to take a too big bite, but that's no problem. They cannot attack us because we share the same fate. And surely they wouldn't attack their brothers in fate. We really need to grow our prestige so we can actually fill the hosts we can summon and what better to fill the coffers and bring fame and fortune than raiding Plain, old, clean, raiding. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes, uh, some of our uh, retinue cap comes from our new religion, which is, it's nice, it helps a bit. Now we just need to Lift our uh, reputation from the gutter and bring glory back to our house. And learn from the mistake that we made. And not attack, you know five times stronger enemies so uh boldly that could also help <laughs> yeah but i i start to worry that we are being surrounded by strong enemies you have the sweet yod in the west and Ilmenia in the east but at least Swedia cannot attack us with a conquest castle spell I for we although falsely 
profess the same faith as they. Hmm. Some zealots. Yes. We will put the zealots into good use shortly. We just need to regain some of our forces, more of our levies and our retinues. So we can go after the Karelians before they split into three. Oh yes, we can, of course, we can weaken them by raiding first, giving us some time to recover while filling our treasury with their gold what is this? you want to drag me into war with the Novgorodians? I don't think so man this is not uh, a good idea Not good idea. Just like uh, raiding uh, Kainu is not profitable because it has so little loot to be gained. Oh. Uh, yet another pregnancy. I think we start to have uh, quite secure inheritance. Let's disband the zealots for now. But yeah, uh, we need to continue this adventure in the next episode, as this one is starting to be a bit long. So, at least we gained. Dutchy County and learned an important lesson of war. Hopefully next time we can conquer more lands and bring the fame of our great house to even more subjects. But that's it for now. See you next time. Bye.